Hi, my name is Tyler Schultz, and I'm the Commissioner of the Environment, working for the Office of the Auditor General of Ontario. I'd like to tell you about one of the environment audits my team worked on this year, on reporting on Ontario's environment. Under the Auditor General Act and the Environmental Bill of Rights, the Auditor General's Office conducts audit reports on environmental topics each year. Comprehensive state of the environment reporting helps people understand the overall condition of the environment and helps the province and others make better decisions, policies, and programs. For years, many national as well as sub-sovereign governments around the world have regularly reported to the public on the overall state of the environment. These state of the environment reports share information to show the overall environmental state of affairs and changes over time. When we reviewed environmental reporting in Ontario, this is what we found. Ontario MPPs and the public do not receive comprehensive reports to help them understand and make informed decisions about environmental policies and programs. The province does produce various reports with information, for example, on Ontario's air quality, forests, and protected areas. However, reports on the state of other natural resources, soil, waste, climate change, and wildlife are not regularly produced or are not easily accessible. There are three Ontario ministries with related responsibilities. The Ministry of the Environment, Conservation and Parks, the Ministry of Northern Development, Mines, Natural Resources and Forestry, and the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. These ministries are not providing enough information to the public about progress on meeting environmental goals and targets, legislative deadlines and commitments to public reporting, or the overall state of the environment and natural resources. I'd like to tell you about recommendations we've made to the ministries to help them improve their public reporting. We recommended that Ontario release state of the environment reports every five years. The report could contain information about the state of Ontario's air, land, and water, as well as climate change, biodiversity, and ecosystem health. As well, these state of the environment reports could be produced in partnership with federal government ministries with responsibilities for the environment and with the advice of independent expert scientists. These reports could be used to evaluate environmental policies and programs in Ontario to see whether they are helping to improve the environment. Finally, reports could be tabled to MPPs in the Ontario legislature to help with informed environmental decision making and posted publicly on the Environmental Registry at ero.ontario.ca to ensure all Ontarians have access to this important information. These are just a few things that we found and recommendations we made to improve. If you want to find out more about this audit and other audits we did this year, visit auditor.on.ca. Thank you for your interest in what we do at the Office of the Auditor General of Ontario.